Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome to James Bond 007 Night Fire. I'm playing this because a little while ago I played Age of Tentify, one of my favourite Bond games of all time, on the GameCube. And loads of people said, Oh, that's fantastic. I remember that game. It was brilliant. I mean, it was fantastic. I mean, it wasn't Night Fire, but it was still really good. And everyone said Night Fire was like the best Bond game of that generation. Some people saying they, you know, they preferred Night Fire to the original N64 Goldeneye. I'd never played Nightfire. So, you know what? Someone gave me a nice Amazon voucher for Christmas this last year, and I just bought a whole bunch of flipping GameCube games with that, and one of them was 007 Nightfire. So, let's see if this is as good as you were all flipping hyping up, shall we? And looks like we're jumping straight into it. We are protecting Dominique. All right, it's always the women, isn't it, Bond? Oh, no, no, not the Bond theme. New Year's Eve, this is strangely appropriate, I'm actually playing this on New Year's Day, would you believe? So yes, this is uh, slightly eerily appropriate for today. Ah, there's our lady, Dominique, guess we're rescuing her from something. Oh, and Bond's a sniper! And one tie goes down, okay, so fair enough, we are, I'm liking the Bond's a sniper. Games forget, in fact the films forget too bloody often that Bond was of course a sniper. It, uh, he was, that was one of the things he was really, really good at. Timothy Dalton Bond paid attention to that. None of the rest of them did. All right, so just got to... Oh, just... Sh okay, I was planning to go for the tire, but I guess we'll just shoot that guy in the penis instead. That's fine. At this point, the game's just making some interesting choices about where I'm going to shoot cars. I'm basically just in a cutscene at the moment. I can't actually change where I'm uh, aiming. Dave oh, good car explosion. Excellent. Wouldn't be a Bond film if something didn't hit another thing and then explode. I'm just waiting for the right moment to fire, really. It's a basically a quick time event, isn't it? Good scream and explosion. Like it. Can I offer you a lift? Now, there's a very interesting thing going on here, which is this Bond looks like Pierce Brosnan, but doesn't sound like Pierce Brosnan at all, which is kind of surreal. Almost there, 007. Wait, who was that? Was that Q? What bloody Q was that supposed to be? Who are you? The name's Bond. James Bond. I mean, I can see how someone's trying to do a Pierce Brosnan impression there, but it's not really working. Oh, are we actually driving at this point? Q Wedge online. <laughs> I was supposed to be getting, uh, yes, I was supposed to be. Oh, lovely. Okay, so this car comes with some missiles. So nice. That's not the way to go. I'm going to screw your rules. No entry. Pff, screw you. And missiles. Yep, screw that random tenement block. Screw the Eiffel Tower! Get it! Get it now! And I'm guessing that there is the truck I'm supposed to be following. Are we out of... I think I may have wasted my missiles trying to blow up Paris. That's a shame. EMP! That sounds like the sort of thing. Lovely. Got ourselves one truck of something. Oh, we put it in the Rhine or the Seine. I forget how rivers in Paris work. We're also leaving it there. I thought we were supposed to be getting something out of the truck, but no, apparently we were so busy trying to, you know, get some champagne with Dominique, we kind of forgot about that bit. Oh, Bond, there'll be plenty of time to do that after we've retrieved the nukes. I understand this game's about nukes or something. Oh, this game's got its own Bond theme. Who the bloody hell wrote this thing? Because this wasn't even a film. Nightfire. That song literally had no mention of the word Nightfire until the end where a woman just whispered Nightfire. That's just bloody cheating. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that was just like the training intro to some basic control stuff. So this is actually going to be the first mission proper, which is good because I've also had access to an option menu. So I've been able to turn on the bloody subtitles. I'm actually not bloody going on. All right. First mission. Drop in on Drake's reception. Rendezvous with undercover agents. All right, then. Good evening, 007. A redesigned piece of missile guidance hardware intended for the orbiting U.S. space weapons platform has been stolen. NATO has advised that recovery is critical. Should an unfriendly power reverse engineer this device, the platform's global defense capabilities would be severely compromised. Recent intelligence implicates Raphael Drake in the theft. Hard to believe, as Drake is a respected green industrialist, whose Phoenix International dismantles obsolete atomic reactors and decommissions nuclear arsenals. An allied agent planted in Drake's organization reports that Alexander Mayhew, a British expatriate who heads Phoenix's Japanese branch, is en route to Drake's castle in Austria. The stolen guidance device will change hands tonight during a formal gathering at the castle. Just to clarify, you, you guys in the US, you don't actually have a weapon space platform thing, do you? And if you did, you wouldn't call it a defense thing, would you? Because that doesn't strike me as like 
There's not many situations where you can reasonably claim that you fired a nuke from space in self-defense. That strikes me as an offensive type of thing. That's a misnomer. Right, so bombs going in. We have to stop a rogue faction seizing control of your massive nuclear weapon platform. Then maybe you just shouldn't have a massive space-based nuclear weapon platform, eh? But all right, infiltrate, get hold of. Lovely. All right, what have we got here? Pretty standard twin analog controls. Uh, action button. Alternate fire. Ah, silence. Now that's what we definitely bloody want. Uh, crouch, jump, aim. All right, this all feels completely normal. Yeah, this feels actually pretty much... In fact, even the uh, the interface looks very much like... Uh, looks very much like Agent Under Fires. Alright, that's good. Do I have any other weapons? I've got a camera. A, gra a grapple? That's cool. Night vision? Or some other sort of vision? Laser? Ooh, that's nice. I'm hoping that recharges. Yeah, that recharges. Nice, a laser. I like that. I've got, well, I've got bloody everything. I've got Kaki Stunner and Enemy Number One, who I think appears to be on the ground with a sniper rifle. Lovely. Quick reload. Get myself a Winter Covert Sniper Rifle. Now, that seems like a bloody useful sort of thing here. In fact, if we go over to one of them now. Yes, this looks like just the sort of thing. The sniper's up there. Are you dead? You're very much dead. Do we have another one over there? Doesn't look like it. Beautiful. Oh, uh oh. Okay, we do have someone though. And oh, the the flipping sniper rifle doesn't have a the sniper rifle doesn't have the auto aim. But oh, the auto aim's pretty weak actually. All right, got to be a little bit careful there. The auto aim is quite flimsy, and enemies are mysteriously good at seeing you. Even though I was yeah crouched, and I took what well, well I thought was a silent shot, but all right. This game might be harder than I'm expecting. Right. Bit of body armor at the top of this tower. That will be useful. Oh! Apparently that's not how you go down ladders. You need to actually do something to make yourself go down ladders. Oops. Got a whole bunch of spotlights ahead. This strikes me as a good thing for the sniper rifle. Assuming that's actually a thing in this game. Can you shoot out spotlights? Yes, you can. Perfect. That strikes me as a very useful, worthwhile thing to do before we approach the castle gates in that case. Alright, new objective, find a way into the party itself. Okay, ah, a bit more of an open area. That's nice. Now, can we just avoid these guys entirely? No reason to pick a fight with them for no reason. This game feels like a game that will allow me to do a little bit of stealthing at least. Ah, you! You are there. Okay, right. They've, they've kind of solved the problem of Agent Under Fire, where the bullets were ridiculous big ping-pong balls that were just kind of, you know, up in the air. But they have admittedly kind of solved that problem by meaning that now bullets don't really seem to exist at all. Which I'd argue isn't necessarily much better. Arguably that's actually a little bit worse. Well, I'm about to run out of the silenced ammo too. Dear, oh dear. Oh, okay, we go our way up top somewhere, and there's definitely someone over there. You are going to go down nice and quick, aren't you? One sniper shot for you. Where's the next one? I see you. And when I say I see you, I mean I'm not sure because this is the GameCube. So it's only 480, which I'm upscaling to 720. So I'm never quite sure exactly what it is I'm, I am or I'm not looking at. But you know what? We will take a shot at you anyway because I'm pretty sure you're an enemy. Yes, I think you were. Searchlight circuit breaker. Can we do something about that? Then... Things... Oh, you know what this will be good for? I've got a laser. Oh, flip! That was the... Never the red wire! Never the red wire! Right! We've learned valuable lessons today. Um, screw... You. Actually, you know what? This will be good. They'll funnel through a door for me. Can we Can we do anything to turn off the, the massive alarm I've just turned on? Oh, this is going to reflect so badly on my end-of-year evaluation with M. This is going to get brought the flip up, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Let's try this again, but do this better this time. So from the first area, you can go through here. And I'm guessing I could shoot out the window to take out the guy in the security room if I'm quick. There we are. You're down. And then... Ooh. Then you go down too. Lovely. 
Now this time, crack open the door, not the red wire. Searchlight deactivated, red wire's not touched. Beautiful. That is how you bond. Sorry, I wanted to restart there because those bloody alarms just weren't going off and they were very, very annoying. So now that that's happened, I can head up here and all the searchlights are off and there's also no alarm, which is much, much nicer. And the snipers just cannot flipping see me at the moment because the spotlights are off. Lovely. This I like, the fact that, you know, there's multiple different ways to do this mission. You can do- oh, you're gonna go down too quickly. Uh, so yeah, there's multiple different ways to do this mission based on what you have and haven't done. So in this case, nobody knows I'm coming. There's gonna be- oh, is that- uh, I think I see a sniper up there. So one sniper. Oh, this is the area which I could have cleared out before. But in this version of the universe, I haven't because I didn't go the long way around. I like the maps in this game. That's all quite cleverly thought out, isn't it? Oh, that's a guy in the distance over there. That guy can go down. Hang on. Dead. I like a sniper. You see, I judge, basically I judge some, I often judge FPSs on two bases, which is, does the sniper rifle feel like you're properly nailing someone? And when you're up close, if you hit someone with a shotgun, do they go bloody flying, yes or no? If the answer to both of those questions is yes, I tend to be pretty satisfied with a first-person shooter. So I'm feeling good about this one so far. I'm feeling good that the, uh, yeah, both the sniper rifle, the sniper rifle feels good. Sniper rifle feels good at least. We'll, wait, we'll need to wait and see how good the shotgun feels. We've confirmed that Agent Nightshade and the deep cover operative will rendezvous with you in the castle library. I trust you'll maintain a low profile, 007. Did you just say Agent Nightshade? Because I swear there was an Agent Nightshade in Agent Under Fire. That was the that was the girl you're rescuing. It's apparently a pun that a Bond game just can't bloody resist. Okay, don't get out your guns. However, am I allowed to get out my car keys? Do you have any objection to me just wandering around with my car keys? No, you don't. Or my watch? No, you don't. Or my little thing. Do you mind if I just take a little photo of you? I hope this won't be weird, but I do kind of have a thing about taking photos of men's genitals through clothing. So do you mind if I just actually took a few? There we are. This actually gives me a good opportunity to kind of examine how the thermal scanner worked, which is it only works when you get really close to someone. So those people over there are not highlighted until I get to like so close to them, there's no chance that if it were they were a guard, they wouldn't have already seen me, which is quite bloody useless. I'm waiting for someone. It might possibly be me. I don't actually know who I'm bloody meeting. I mean, I don't, I've no proof it's going to be an attractive woman in a low-cut top, but it's a Bond game, so I'm moderately confident the person I'm meeting and or rescuing will be. I mean, this here, this is what the code words were actually kind of flipping made for. Do you have a Geiger counter? Thank you all for accepting my invitation this evening. Your generous gifts have ensured the success of our World Refugee Fund. Is that Dominique from the first mission again? It's kind of hard to tell. The large number of the women in this game kind of look identical to each other. James! Oh. Ah, that would be Dominique then. Sorry to interrupt your debriefing, 007. Agent Nightshade, CIA. Yeah, would you believe it? Both of the agents I'm meeting are hot women. Is that dress standard company issue, Nightshade? Don't get any ideas, 007. It's armored in all the right places. It's really not. If they shoot you in the shoulders, arm, back, most of the leg, boobs, neck, or face, you are screwed. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, darn it. it! It's just like Agent Under Fire. The laser is useless. The laser is useless. The laser is... No, no, don't! No! Oh, God, set fire to him! No, don't set fire to him! Oh, God, the actual... The lighter does actually do things. Stunner! That works! Oh, I feel like I've slightly messed this up. So, the micro camera is normally a lighter, but if you aim it, it becomes a camera. So, basically, I was wandering around with what was clearly a lighter, Opening it up into a camera in front of the guards, and they weren't suspicious in the slightest. I see. So we're spying on the meeting with our camera, all right. Here it is, Mr. Drake. The missile guidance module we stole from the Americans. Get your hands off me. We caught her in the hallway, sir. I was looking for the powder room. Is lockpicks in the 9mm? 
Hey, it's a tough neighborhood. If this security breach leads back to Japan, it's your head, Mayhew. Secure this in the safe room. Retrieve the guidance chip from the safe room is the next objective. All right. We've got someone down there. wonder if we can just kill them off nice and quick. Looks like we can. Yes, lovely. Couple of soldiers down there. Couple of shot rounds of burst fire should take care of you lot. Lovely. Reload. That is a damn inaccurate gun. Probably should try and avoid using that if at all possible. Actually, that's a good point. Can I get down to where I just was? Oh, I might have been it. Oh, yes, I can. Maybe I can. Yes, nice. I can actually get down to the meeting room. Lovely. Now, which way did they actually go? So, caution. Bad things. Oh, no. No, no, no. Right, okay. Stunner. I could... Okay, can't electrocute it. Laser. Micro camera. Hold manual and use the camera. That doesn't do much good. All right, laser. I believe in you. Door unlocked. Much easier than expected. Oh, but it looks like we've got some people inside. Hello. Oh, you're much closer than I was thinking you were going to be. Luckily, I've got this little burst fire gun now. It's like a MagSec 4 from Perfect Dark. It's ludicrously inaccurate. Oh, I've got some armor. That's perfect. Now, let's go over to this nice big silenced gun here. That works for me. Now, how do I get in this safe? Oh, the bolts. Now, that I quite like. There we are. Bolt number one goes down. And it doesn't just happen instantly. It takes a second, too. Okay. That I quite like. I picked up a something sentinel. Is that a weapon? What's one of them? That is a... Oh, that's a big old rocket launcher. Why do we get the feeling that when I'm trying to escape, someone's going to come after me with a flipping helicopter? And this is going to be how I deal with said problem. All right, fine. Here's something fun I just noticed. So, there's actual proper hitboxes on railings in this game. So, if I shoot here, the bullet goes through. But if I shoot here, it hits the thing. And bullets actually... That's actually quite impressive for GameCube era. That the actual... Everything actually has proper little hitboxes on it. That's quite good. Anyway, let's go and have a chat with what's a face Four rockets. Let's get out of here. Oh, you were already free. Alright, why do we get the feeling because you've just given me four rockets? I'm about to be needing this old girl. Eight guided missiles. There we are. Let's just blow out a window ready for the sudden but inevitable disaster. Oh, I called it. I flipping called it. I called that bloody thing. Right, okay. Um, oh, where are you? Oh, 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 uh, where, where, where did you go? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Are you actually going to hold still, by the way? And... Oh, oh, it's a proper... Mi it's a perfect... It's a proper little guided missile there. Lovely. All right, next. You just shoot out the windows for me. That would be really bloody convenient. And... Where did you go? Oh, where, where did he just go? Hello? Oh, there he is. I'm on ya. There you are. This is one of those missiles that doesn't really... Is that window been shot out or not? I don't know. I'm just going to shoot it out of this window just in flipping case. Because I don't know. When it says guided, by the way, it's not flipping kidding. Where's the helicopter? Excuse me, where are you? Um, oh, there you are. I think I almost hit my own thing there. And there we go. Nice landing, James. Why do you always seem to end up on top? Uh, a lower center of gravity? That was a very strange response. Also, that wasn't even really a sexy come-on. That was more of a complaint about a boring sexual technique. But all right, silver medal, go, go, go. And as a reward, we get a little kind of slight pin-up card thing of Zoe Nightshade. I'm going to be honest, I prefer the Zoe Nightshaded agent under fire. I think she was more attractive. And we get multiplayer skin odd job for scum who like cheating. Ah, the world's most high-tech snowmobile. Yes. You know, I swear we were sent in on a subtle infiltration mission in order to retrieve the chip and then get out. But all of a sudden, we've decided to start setting bombs and stealing a flipping... Darn... Oh, darn it. We've actually got a little kind of a gun section here. Uh, could we maybe, like, you know, go somewhere by any chance? Zoe, do you know how to, do you know how to fly this thing? Oh, hello. Screw you. And more of this. Let's just set off explosive barrels in the room we're actually in, why don't we? The physics is quite nice. The way enemies... Oh, I like just blasting them off the back of their uh, snowmobiles. It's quite good. 
I will say this game does actually suffer from not having a, like, a damage direction indicator. So you don't actually know when you've been shot where it's coming from, which is a problem. You also turn quite slowly. So, oh, flipping heck. Right, take out the big missile launcher, lads. Normally there's a big button you just want me to shoot. And it looks like that one. But it looks like that's not actually working. Do you just need me to kill everyone on this particular mission? Is there someone above, by the way? Sorry, we forgot to make a reservation. This game is so much like Asian Under Fire, it's ridiculous. With a little on rail section where you just crash through some rather nicely put together hotels and stuff. That's exactly the same thing that happens in Agent Under Fire. Ah, and I'm guessing having introduced us to some sneaking, some shooting, and some on rail section, we've now got a driving bit. Because this game, it's, it's literally Agent Under Fire. Was this the sequel to Agent Under Fire? 2002. Yeah, that was after Agent Under Fire. I feel like these two games are very closely related. If it is, then I'm looking forward to the driving, because the driving in Agent Under Fire was exquisite. Alright, we have got ourselves a car section. Nice. And many missiles. Yes, yeah, screw you. Screw you. Many missiles. Missiles were always a fun thing. Get out of the way, taxi. Right, now, use your non-lethal weapons as a deterrent. Well, I could do that. Or, okay, fine. We'll just use this. Yep, smoke screen against the flipping cops if we have to. Oh no, I'm just crashing through this hotel. Sorry, my mistake. Also, I think I just sent a member of the public flying there. More missiles for you. More missiles. That missile just went off into space, which is fine. Maybe it was trying to take out the terrifying US weapons platform thing. Bye. And more missiles. More missiles. I tell you what, actually, I think I prefer Agent Under Fire. Because ammo is a bit more limited. Agent Fire, get off the road. Get off the road. Smoke screen to get the police off my back. And more missiles. And then, oh, more missiles. Yes, more missiles. He's got a missile launcher of his own, so make sure we get the first missiles in. Oh, we're almost out of missiles. That could be a bit of a problem. I may have been slightly uh, missile happy. And through the... Ouch. Mission failed automatically. I could have just backed up and gone around. That's what I did when I cut through the town. Oh, that's why missiles go down so quickly. It's because every single... Oi! You... Okay, luckily my, my car has a Shremek built into it. That's bloody useful. So there'll be a police blockade. So now I just need to go... Oh, I need to divert down here. That was not the most obvious path game. Right, I see. How did that even happen? That's not a thing that made any sense. But all right, fine. Whatever. Onto the frozen lake we go. And fire the missiles. Oh, it's proper slippery. It's got ice handling on it. Oh, blimey. Right, that was... Okay, good. We're back onto snow. Good old reliable snow. I don't know why I've really got a time limit here. Like, if I don't make it to Q in the next two and a half minutes, does he just get bored and wander off or something? First, I get a boss fight. Okay. Oh, I've got no missiles. That's a bit of a problem. I've got no missiles and multiple helicopters coming after me, I think. Right, spin around. Where are the things? Oh, come on. Back, 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 back. Where are you? There you are. Have some machine guns. Ah, missiles. Nice. I think those are my friends because they're dropping some missiles for me to use. All right, you bastards. I think you're in trouble now. Now I've got flipping missiles. Lovely. And then we've got... Oh, I think I've got a flat tire. That's nice if there's proper kind of tire physicy damage to here. Right. And right. And more. There we go. Oh, yeah. My car is handling horrendously at the minute. It's not just the ice. One of the things is broken. Oh, crikey. You went that way. Are you already dead? I think you're already dead. We've got one minute to take out the rest of the enemies. You must leave soon. What? Okay, that's another enemy down. Are there any more? Okay, I think we did it. Beautiful. And in comes a massive cargo plane. Welcome aboard, 007. And how exactly did I get aboard the massive cargo plane that just came over the ice lake? You're saying it landed on the ice lake, that the ice lake supported the weight of a cargo plane, then I was able to take off again? Because I call nonsense on that. MI6 has been contacted by Alexander Mayhew, Raphael Drake's chief of Asian operations. Mayhew fears that Drake intends to kill him, holding him responsible for their little setback in Austria. In exchange for our protection, Mayhew will deliver evidence exposing Drake's master plan, codenamed Nightfire. A scheme that Mayhew insists threatens global security. Alright, looks like we've probably got ourselves a little protect mission here then. Ah, Mr. Bond, at last. 
this is Kiko Hayashi, my bodyguard. I assure you, she is quite skilled. No doubt. The Nightfire data make you. We weren't expecting other guests. Please, stay with Alex. It's Drake. Quick, we must get to the security bunker. What the? Okay, yes indeed. This Okay, this, this all escalated very quickly, actually. Who else is here? More baddies. You're a baddie, aren't you? Just just don't fire at me for a second. Thank you. Right. Silenced gun. What else do we have here? I've got a shaver. Picked up the store. I think I just accidentally laid a shaver bomb there. I, I don't think I... Can, I... can I pick it up again? Darn. I think I just... I didn't even rip... This is what happens when you don't tell me what the gadgets flipping do. Q. Well, we've got this here thing called a raptor that's got a laser thing on it. That's good enough for me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Multiple bad guys. You're dead, though. And so are you. And go for a dis... Oh, you weren't dead yet. Sorry. I thought you were. My mistake. Now you dead. Oh, flipping heck. Right. Well, some of them are at the back of the room. Now, hang on. I, I swear I saw a bloke with a shotgun around here. Okay, shotgun. Now, this is important. How good is the shotgun in this game? Oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't feel powerful at all. They don't go flying. Boo, they need to go properly flying. Otherwise, it's not proper shotgun. Okay, it feels powerful. When you shoot someone with it, I need them to go flailing across the room. Damn it. That's not right. What if has it got a different mode? It's got an auto mode. How's that? Oh, you hold still for a sec, you. Oh, that's a bit better. That feels a bit more meaty at least. What you're looking for is locked in my bedroom safe. This is the key. Just feed it to the dragon. The dragon? Right. Keep your head down. I'll be back for you. Also, could you wipe the hard drive on my computer? I don't want to leave a data trail for Drake to follow. And please protect my servants. They're like family to me. Also, my dog hasn't been fed today, and normally he would have been by now. So, could you just kind of put down, like, not more than 25 grams of the dry kibble? Don't give him the wet food. He had it this morning. All right, thank you. Oh, that's one geisha girl. That, that was a geisha girl just running around screaming a second ago, but I don't know where the hell she bloody went. I hope they're not shooting at her. Screw you. And, oh, there's quite a few. Oh, no, those those aren't bad guys. Those are just random fence poles. Uh, don't need to worry about the fence poles. Not yet, anyway. Hello. Yeah, I see you over there. That's fine. There you are. Screw you. All right, take out the person with the hostage first. One of two hostages free. You saved my life. How will I repay you? Bond, you've got enough flipping women in this game already, all right? If I find my way to the second one and realize what it's going to be before I actually go in there, I will actually use a stun grenade for the next one. All right, fine. Oh, I need to find a new weapon first. No, not the shotgun. Not for the flipping saving of the hostages. Ah, important test. We've got ourselves a big gong here. It actually makes a proper sound. Well, a proper-ish sound when shot. Okay, game. Impressive. Well done. Okay, second big old house. I'm guessing. I think I just saw a computer in here from the outside. Oh, hello. Oi. No. No. And... One more shotgun. Guy sitting at the end of a corridor. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. But quite frankly, I don't trust him. If he wants us to destroy it, so that's because there's incriminating evidence about him here. I suspect that's what's going on, but all right, we'll laser the hell out of it. Seemingly not. It's just going to need to be flipping shotgunned. That seems to do the job. The hostage takers have no interest in shooting the hostage. I just ran into there without even realising I was going into the hostage situation. They didn't even threaten to shoot her. Well, hostage is saved. Next up is just... Wait, hang on. What was next up? Destroyed the computer. I've rescued the girls. 
Oh, the dragon's safe. Yes, the entire bloody point of the reason I came here. Actually, wait, what was the point of coming here? I was supposed to... This must be the incriminating evidence he mentioned. I've added an item to your inventory. A powerful yet stealthy flashbang grenade disguised as an electric shaver. Yeah, the thing about that was I found a turner. I didn't know what it was, so I accidentally detonated it. So I'm sorry about that, but I don't actually have one of them anymore. Sorry. Well, now that we're out of flipping hostage territory, I may as well kind of give this kind of nice little... Oh... Screw you. Oh, that didn't even kill him. At medium range, that didn't kill him. That's flipping disappointing. Hello, I'm Bond. James Bond. All of that stuff. Yeah, that's me. Oh, oh, not you. Oh, oh, there's flipping more hostages to go. Yeah, that she is really flipping grateful. Um, hello, where are you? Are you up there? Excuse me, I've got a shotgun, so I'd like to get close to you. Oh, no, stop moving. You are even worse aiming than me, and that's bloody saying something. Ah, and by going upstairs, I can get up onto the roof. That's nice. I can finally actually get up on the roof here. Can't get past this weird bar. There are some invisible walls everywhere. But by getting up onto the roof, I can actually get some shots down at... Ooh. Oh, what? that's really cool. If I hadn't done that first area down there first, that was the first guy I killed with a shotgun, I could have snuck up on the roof and actually shot down at him through the skylight. That's really cool. All right, well done, game. Well flipping done. I appreciate that, and I admire it a lot. Right, let's just get... Oh, is that over there an area I can shoot down into? Oh, oh, game. Game, you might be impressing me here. Oh, my goodness, it is. You can get up here and then just shoot down at all the hostage takers. Screw you. Hostages released. Beautiful. And 007 moment, presumably for just kind of getting up there. Oh, I think I just dropped down on your face. Excuse me. No, stop shooting me, please. Thank you very much. Oh, I feel like I may have just left the hostage running around while people are still shooting. Screw you. I think I might have just saved an extra girl there. Oh, actually, I think that might have been a bit of a dark moment there. There was a, a woman screamed and ran out of this here bedroom with a man pursuing her. That's a bit dark there, game. Blimey. All right, hostages on. Let's move on to the next... Hostages done. Move on to the next bit. Not all objectives complete. Really? Oh, is I supposed to have already done the dragon thingy? Is the dragon thingy supposed to have been the thing I already did? Uh, where was the dragon thingy in that case? Aha! Bloody finally. It's uh, hidden over here in this uh, area next to the bar. Right. Pop that in there. Get a gun out. And we've got the code key. That's the... Wait, find the door leads to... Code key. I think we were... Oh! There's people who have just sort of bloody showed up out of nowhere. Hello. I swear I already killed all of you. But all right, fine, whatever. I've got plenty of armor right now. We're finished here, Mayhew. Let's go. What about Kiko? Have you seen her? She's a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Oh. Uh oh. Never trust anyone with glowy red eyes. Luckily, I've got plenty of ammo with my uh, shotgun, so if an assassin decides to... Oh, flip. That was all very strange. Oh, ouch. Okay, but... Oh! Okay, move, move, move. Keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. I've been flashbanged. Okay, that was unfortunate. And the assassin goes down to the shotgun. Beautiful, as I thought. Like an assassin who's going to run up to me with a sword. Not going to do well when I have a shotgun. Auto with plenty of ammo. The code key you found in my safe will lead you to the Nightfire evidence. The Phoenix building in Tokyo. Tokyo? You'll need the password to the mainframe. It's Afterburn. In fact, pretty much all of the passwords are burn or fire related puns. Just go through the obvious ones. I was pinned down. Paddocks. Oh, I don't trust her one bit. I promise you, Drake will pay. Kiko, you're not safe here. Come with me. I've got a hotel room ready with plenty of champagne. By any bloody chance, is that where we're going next?
I swear, like, in the Bond films, there's normally, like, you know, two or three Bond girls in a Bond film. The games, it always goes to ridiculously high levels. There's, like, I'm normally three or four principal Bond girls, but then a cast of, like, ten mini Bond girls, all of whom Bond is quite frankly unfair to. Like those geisha girls, it goes up to, like, oh, maybe after this we could find ourselves some time to have sex and I can put my thingy into your thingy. But then he never does. Never does. Leaves them bloody hanging. Go up to the lobby and then look for the main tower elevators. I'll alert you if there's anything suspicious at the street level. Alright, so we're in stealth mode at the moment. Don't let security guards raise the alarm, and I've got that silent tranquilizer gun specially. No, not the shaver, not the Q-worm, not the decryptor. Where's the buzz thing? Stunner. I'm happy to use the stunner on this occasion. I don't need to waste my darts yet. No, 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 no. Get the get the thing. That's it. Shock him. Shock him in the arse. What does that say? Oh, it's sorry, it's the Wolfram PPK. Sorry, it's not the Walt the PPK, it's the Wolfram PPK. Because, I don't know, it's always been- Oh, 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 oh no, sorry, you can't- you can't shoot a civilian. You know what, let's just stick to the tranquilizer dart. They're probably, you know, here for a good purpose and all of that. One more stunner, and you go down. Shocked in the arse, oh, and is he down? Yep, he's nice and down, lovely. Actually, does that actually stun him for good, or is that the same bloke? Is that what's going on here? Is the same bloke actually getting up again in a second? Is the stunner just a temporary solution? I think it is as well. Right, never mind. And then he gets on with his duties. Is this a more permanent solution? Is he actually going to fade from view or not get back up again? Or is the dart actually... Is he going to get back up in a second? Though admittedly, that is good dedication. He just gets electrocuted through the arse, and his response is just, eh, you know what, I'll crack on with my duties, I'm not done with my shift yet. Right, one guard in that direction, let's just see if we can- Oh, 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 and... One guard, possibly, okay, another one in this direction. And down, and... There we are. Both guards on the ground. Beautiful. Now, is there anything else I need to do in here? Or can I just make my way up? Because if there's, if those were the two guards, I might just be able to get, get some extra bonus stuff around here. Get some extra bonus darts or whatever. Could be very, very useful in the long run. As I've just got both of those guys down, I may as well search the security rooms. Ah, you see. Armor. And there we are. We've unlocked the, uh, we've unlocked the elevator. And we've also turned off the Tripwise, so let's just quickly check if there's anything else we can do in here. There might be some... Oh, hello, I'm Bond. James Bond. Okay, we're past the initial stealth section. Install the Q-worm on the office. I like how it's broken down to little sections. That's quite good. That's a nice structure. Though, the, I'm guessing we're still playing by the rules of... Which ones? The, the night vision ones or these ones? Bond, there are security cameras on this floor too. If you see one, be careful not to cross its range-finding beam. That's fine. I've got a plan for that. These are the toughest cameras I've ever seen. They've had a massive upgrade since uh, previous games. Uh-oh. I think I might have just got seen. Darn. You know what? I'm going to suggest that the place where I already was was actually quite a good situation. Because if there's a security camera blocking the way, that feels like it's got to be the right way. I've just got to keep my distance from that sweepy thing. 70 E. That looks like the target computer. Uh -huh. Install the Q worm into that device and we're in business. Okay, let's just make sure we've not got any guards around here. Q worm. One of these. This one. There we are. Pop the Q worm into the red flashy computer. Right, next thing's next. Find the security office. Okay. Now, there was another door right here. This could be it. And I do have a special Q thingy here. That's locked. However, not the Q one, the Q decryptor. Okay, so how does this decryptor here work? Two. Zero. Oh, you just have to hold it down until it finds the code. Seven, five, four, eight. Door is unlocked. Right, sorry, I didn't realize it was that simple. Okay, now, one more 
door to go and I think this should be the security office and if this is the security office that means I can shut down all of the security right that's right there we go and that should be hopefully everything shut down laser trip switches test cycle aborted office beautiful system now active wait hang on laser floor system active test cycle now running Okay, wait, hang on. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Also, there's a man who can blatantly be able to see me through the windows there, but hopefully he can't. Nipping outside for a second. The terminal should be on the highest floor. See if you can use the exterior elevator to gain access. Ah, I see where we're going with this. You want me to just hop on top of it? There we are, on top of the elevator. And the elevator just takes me back up again. We'll be in business. And there it goes. All right, that's cool. That's proper spy-like. Well, it's probably not spy-like. Spies are probably actually have a very boring job, but it's good enough. Yes, I figured out the vent. Thank you. Wait, the vent? Oh, GB to, oh, GB to laser it. Hang on. No, not shaver. Not worm. Not decryptor. Not the grep. No! I've got too many gadgets, Q. They're slowing me down. Okay, multiple security devices dotting around here. Gotta wait for you to swing back that way, and then we can just go over here. Lovely. Around here, nice and safe from the security lasers. And the question is, can we just summon a lift to take us up? No, not yet anyway. Right, next set of security lasers swings around this way. Goes rack over there. And we can just go through into here, nice and easy. Close the door. And we've got ourselves a locked room. Locked room strikes me as exactly the sort of thing that we need. Where is the detector? Sorry, decryptor, whatever. Time to hold the button of this thing. So, Mayhew's computer. Let's get the flip in. You can tell which one's the right one because they've got the massively red. There we are. In it goes. And do we take the CD back out again after we're done? Or do we just leave a CD in the CD tray and just hope no one ever bloody notices it? That does appear to be what we do, yes. So, next thing we need to do. Where is the... Oh, that's where the security thing is there. Around the back of this here security that's thing. Stairwell bond. It should lead up to the rooftop. I'm not sure I want the rooftop yet, do I? I thought I needed to find the... Um... Do you want me to find the server room? But alright, if you're happy for me to just head out the way, I'll be on my way. No, not all objectives. I thought so. M. Also, yeah, it's Judy Dench's M, but it's not the right... It's not any Q. This is all very surreal. Now, server room. Gotta find a good server room. Oh, this looks like a good server room. And the door is indeed unlocked. Beautiful. A very science fiction room here. Careful, old boy. Careful, old boy, for what reason? Why? Why, why should I be worried here? Wasn't worried before, but I am now. Oh, flipping heck, I'm an idiot. Yep, up and then across. And we're alright for a second here. Are we in a safe spot? Yes, we're in a safe spot to let the batteries come back because the batteries on these things wear down pretty bloody quick. Are we in a safe spot if we just move slightly this direction? Good work, 007. What happened up there? Now get out of there. Oh, 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 flip, flip, flip. Run, 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 run. Many security agents. Okay. There are security agents now. And I'm very almost dead. Because I apparently triggered a thing. You must get out of here, agent. It's a trap. I put that together when your boyfriend's chopper nearly clipped me off the building. You don't understand. Drake couldn't help and make you safe without the password, and he's not going to let the Nightfire files live with you. These stairs go directly to the roof. You'll find a parachute in the helicopter. It's your only chance of escape. Dominique, if Drake finds you out... Do you think you're the only spy you can make someone trust you completely? You know, Bond of the film, at least normally, kind of, you know, held off the snogging until after the world was safe. This Bond just regularly just slows down the mission. Until the- Oh, flipping! Whoa! Whoa, 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 what? What the bloody- Oh, bloody hell, there's many, many people. Many, many people. Many, many people. I'm nearly dead. I just get to the flipping. Yeah, get to the thing. Bye! 
There we are, beautiful. So you just jump off, parachute away, and I'm sure there will be no police waiting for us at ground level after the whole, you know, security alert, alarms, etc. Oh, it's another two flipping Bond floozies. Sorry to drop in like this, but would you ladies mind giving me a ride? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm enjoying this enough. I think I will actually finish this game. So, more 007 Nightfire coming tomorrow. Fun little game. Personally, I think I do prefer Agent Under Fire because it feels like there's a bit more driving in that. And the driving was the best bit of that. I think the driving in this is good, but not quite Agent Under Fire good. Uh, but yeah, it's a very good game. I like the level design. Very, very clever. Very good. Thank you for the recommendations. This is a very good game indeed. But yes, more of this tomorrow. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been 007 Nightfire. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Just got to weaken the base of this a little bit more. Yes! Yes! Good news, I'm protecting you! Alex Mason, the man who can literally run as fast as a speeding truck. This game is basically just badasses don't look at explosions the game, isn't it? Oh! Ho, 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 ho.